Production. Um, we're gonna have Level, Martinez, Ruben, and Gus. All the kids. Hey, if you're an adult, get all the kids up here. Get all the kids up here because it's for them. Come, come and let them hear. All the kids in the back throwing the football. Don't be scared. Y'all go and tell them to come up so they can hear this. Y'all grab them. If you're an adult, just tell them, hey, we need you kids up here. 30 years later, sitting here together as brothers. So I'm very proud to sit here with my brother Level, my brother Gus. Yes, I want to say that. I'm the former leader of which was once the biggest gang in Miami, the International Posse. I ended up starting the chapter here in Orlando, right here off of OBT and Oak Ridge area, which eventually also became the biggest gang in Orlando, Florida by 1994. So we'll talk about the gang violence, why it exists, etc. Just wanted to introduce you to myself. All right, Gus. Praise God. God bless everybody. My name is Gus Rodriguez. Uh, I'm an ambassador for Jesus Christ. Um, I'm a walking testimony on what God can do in changing somebody that was once a drug dealer, a drag, a drug addict, and a gang member. And like Brother Ruben said, we were all rivals. At one time, we were out killing each other, beating each other over with bats, with bottles, with fists. But this is what God does right here. Amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. My name is Renee Martinez. On the streets, I was known as Level. I was one of the founders of the Latin Syndicate Gang which started in Halloween night, 1989. And I led that gang for over two decades. And uh, it's an honor to be here, especially with my brothers right here, because, you know, we there was a lot of gunplay. A lot of people died. We was playing for keeps. Like real, real, like something out of a movie. And it's an honor to be here. It's, it's only by the power of Jesus Christ that we could be here doing this right now. So I hope y'all gonna, gonna receive something from this. Amen. You know, Ruben tapped into something. He said they know each other, but it isn't like they ran together. These were gang members of different gangs. So if you could get that mic over back to Ruben. Ruben, I kind of want to get into what my question is, being ex-gang members, and you could all probably share on this, what exactly, how did you feel acceptance in a game because it's not like you could just throw on a jacket and be like yo I'm down I mean there's a process to getting into that hour, I'm talking general. to the adults I'm not talking to the kids take one hour out of your day with the child or children my wife and I spend four to six hours a day with these children take one hour out that's it that's all they want is a father figure, a mother figure, because the mother might be working so hard because she's a single mother. Or the father might be working so hard because he's, he's a single father. That's happening a lot these days. 